Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, June 4th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at the at Bitcoin. Sorry. So at this current stage, we're trading at the 38k, and uh, we're right underneath the 20 exponential, right underneath the, the 200 moving average. We have a crossing here of the 200 and the 20 exponential. Not a very good sign for this market. If you look at technical indicators, they are all turning around and are becoming very bullish indeed. But we are in this range here. And uh, as long as that is the case, then uh, we're probably not going anywhere. So we, if we get rejected here, we could drop back to the bottom. If we break this bottom here, which is roughly at 30k, then we will drop in towards the 20, uh, 20k and even lower than that. So that has technically uh an important area if this gives away then we could the bottom of this market could uh, completely fall apart to the upside if we manage to break about the 20 and the 200 moving average and then we'll probably go and test the 50 which is getting very close to 50 moving average which is getting very close to the 50k area but overall for this market it's not looking very good it feels like the hype of the cryptocurrency market is kind of gone you can see that if you look at fibonacci retracements the 61.8 is right here at 30k so that is a very very important does this give away then we can see a basically a massive tidal wave to the downside to the upside we you can see that the 50 fibonacci retracements is right where we are at the moment so that could offer quite a lot of support but um before we break above the 200 moving average probably the 50 moving average it is uh this is a risky market there is a lot of volatility there is just not the same hype as there was before this crash here so let's look at ethereum so ethereum is also struggling uh, to uh, pass the 50 moving average it has crossed the uh, past the 20 exponential but the 50 is in the way here we have tested it right here broke down so it'll be interesting basically what see uh, what happens here uh, if we break above the 50 then we could go back towards 4000 if we get rejected here then we could drop all the way down to the 200 moving average technical indicators they are favoring the upside so their momentum is definitely to the upside at this point so let's look at uh, ada or cardano so Cardano has been outperforming most of the major cryptocurrencies that are the last few days, but um, it hasn't broken above these previous highs here. And until it does, it's not very plausible that we'll go to the very highs again. We may well be that we'll see this uh, basically fall back towards the bottom and uh, trade in, uh, in a square pattern as we have seen, for example, Bitcoin be doing. So up to the top, back to the bottom, up, and so on for the foreseeable future. That is, uh, you say, uh, stabilization in this market, uh, but, uh, but it also feels like the hype in this market has kind of gone away. Um, there is not that much tweeting from, uh, from a certain, car certain person that um, had, was a major driver for this gain here. If you look at the technical indicators, they are they do favor the upside at this point. So take this out, and then we could go back to the all-time highs. So let's look at Litecoin. So nothing is really happening here. It's just hanging around at the 200 moving average, and usually that it could be a good sign that we are stabilizing here. And uh, at some point, we are going to make a run above the 20 exponential and up towards the 50 moving average, give or take 252. We're trading at uh, 187 at this current stage. We have been here several times before. We were hanging around this area here, also here, for a very long time before we rallied to the upside. But we have not recovered after this massive fall here. If you look at the Fibonacci retracements for, for this, and we can see that we are not even close to the 38.2, not even close to the 50 or 61. So 
this is just hanging around here doesn't really know where to go but break below the 200 minute average that could open the door all the way down to 100. so let's look at neo so neo very similar it has not recovered after this massive fall we can look at Fibonacci retracement for example there's a long way to go to get to 38.2 and also to the 50 and we have the 50 moving average right uh, in the way here so if we were to rally then we'll probably find massive resistance within this area and then fall back we also have the top of the bullish band in the same place so uh, if we look at the negatives they do favor the upside we have been gradually grinding the upside but momentum here is very weak to be very honest if we get rejected at the 20 exponential we could drop back towards that 200 moving average roughly 42 dollars so let's look at dash so dash very similar it is basically the same story technically the other day all favor the upside there has not been a massive rally which usually occurs when these markets break down it usually goes back towards 50 and then it drops even further now we're just stabilizing here and usually when something stabilizes it it either breaks to the downside or it breaks really or rallies significantly to the upside and that is to be seen what happens in for most of these cryptocurrencies that are very resembling of dash and litecoin and so on in their patterns so let's look at the uh, dogecoin so dogecoin um did rally quite significantly on on um, on wednesday and on thursday it basically gave most of these gains back and now we're just trending above the 50 moving average if you look at technical indicators they are well they're still fairly bullish macd is bullish the you know, stochastic is bullish cci is entering bullish territory and the rsi is flat at this current stage if we break below the 50 and the 20 then we could drop all the way down towards 0.25 rally above these candlesticks here then we could head back to 0 0.50 so hope you find this helpful you have all the support channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos and good luck and thank you very much